Deprived Productions. Unreal Engine 4 Materials Tutorial Number 4. We're going to make some fluid. This is from my man Thomas Oscar. One of our subscribers was asking about a watertight material. Let's get it done. I also told you guys we were going to do two of them today, but we're not because I'm not going to lie, that second one is real scary. So it's, just, it's, it's a little out of, our, out of our context right now. We're starting from scratch and we're learning some cool stuff. So let's just make a simple water today. I'm in the BP folder, right click, material. I'm going to name it Water 1 because you know we'll be back for Water 2. Double click. Hold the, number hold the number three, click, drag it into base collar because we need that collar and it's going to be like a light blue. Uh, yeah, that, you know what? That's going to do it. We need a normal map and we need a water style normal map. Again, we got the starter content here. I'm just going to search for water and it's going to pull up some stuff. But this normal map is all I need and it comes with the starter content. So make sure you start your project with your starter content if you want to have this cool stuff in there. Anyway, let's let's plug that into normal. Let's, let, me, let, let me just save this and show you. what's. Let's just look at it. This is just let's just look at it for a second and see what's going on. Okay, let's drag it over here. Boom. Uh, it's blue. It's all kind of blue. You see how the waves are real big? They're all stretched out. We don't want it that stretched out, right? That's that's bad. Too stretched out. Stop it. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna clean that up a little bit. Take a bath in it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is there's a there's a there's a uh, uh, node here called texture coordinate. So I just type in texture C and it pops, or it pops up. I'm gonna plug this into UV. Now UV again is like how many times it's tiling. It's tiling only one time across that plane, one by one, by one here, if I got it clicked, I'm gonna go eight by eight. And watch what it, ha yeah, you see what's going on here. See how it's multiplying how many times it's wrapping around that image? It's gonna do the same thing on the plane, which is super, super cool. So now it's gonna look more like this. We can work with that, right? Let's work with it, because that's what we're going to do. Double click. Um, let's see what we got. Now, drag this drag us out here and get rid of it real quick. Just alt-click that. It was plugged in. Alt-click either side. Boom. I want you to hold the letter P and click right here. Boom. Panner. Now, you want to plug this into coordinate and then plug this into UV. Now, what this does is it's going to move the image a little bit. If I put it like one, what's going on now? You know what I'm talking about? But don't do that. Don't, don't, uh, don't do that. How about a point two here and then a point one there? Okay, now you can see that it's kind of moving. So the water what would be like moving across the plane, and that's cool, but we can do better. Take these two right here, Control C to copy, Control V to paste. I'm gonna drag this thing down here, keep it all clean looking, all cleanliness, and uh, boom, now we got two of them. Now we're gonna have to add these together, right? I'm gonna drag all this back a little bit. Hold the letter A for an add. We're gonna add these together, a little math, math, normal math, math. <clears throat> Plug that into normal. Now, the thing is, the panners are doing the same thing. That can't happen. That one's at 0.2. I'm going to go negative 0.15. This one's at 0.2. I'm going to put it at negative, or 0.1, I'm going to put it at negative 0.2. I'm just changing them. See they're intertwining between each other? We're going to check it out. We're going to go in here and see what it looks like over this. Oh, okay. We got a little something happening. It's a little bright out here, but you see the water. You see the water, Thomas Oscar. You see that water, bro? But, I mean, uh, we're, we're going to we're do just a little bit better. Show you, show you a little trick here that I'm a real big fan of. We're going to click on this right here. And we have it set to default lit. This is going to make it, to me, this is a pretty big difference. Go down to clear coat. Yeah. You see uh, see the change it's made there? I'll just check it. Let's, let's go back and look at it now. Go back and look at it now. Boom. <laughs> what is going on there? Don't tell. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but it looks good, right? I'm going to tell you what else I do. Like I like the light, the way it reflects off of it now. It's like real, real, real rigid and real defined, real defined. I do this. This is just me. It's kind of like a look I kind of like. I know this sounds crazy. Again, it's all about the look here. I plug a, a constant. I held the number one, by the way. Let me go back. Held the number one because I'm a, I'm a constant kind of guy. Plug it into metallic and set it to 0.85. So it's pretty metallic-y looking. You're kind of like, bro, I don't know, metallic-y fluid. I don't know, mercury or something has that kind of stuff in it. Just I just think it freaking looks sweet. That's just me. I mean, I was looking at it. And yeah, I mean, you could adjust the panner and kind of toy with that a little more and kind of, you know, kind of get it the way you want to look. But this is just for, for fun. But I mean, dude, tell, that, that's pretty sweet. I'm going to do one more thing for you. One more cool thing we haven't learned yet. So I got all this down here. It's starting to get a little messy. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get another collar, okay? So copy and paste that guy right here. And I'm going to make it like a darker blue, okay? Uh, it's, it's pretty vibrant, pretty, pretty vibrant dark blue and then darken it a little bit like that. Now, there's a, there's a, there's a note in here called a frenel. R F R E, let's see, F R E S. Just press enter and boom, it pops up. Okay, I'm gonna do the whole lerping thing with this thing. I'm gonna show you what it does. We'll hold L for lerp. We've been doing lerping. You remember the lerps? And I'm gonna plug this into here, and plug this into here, and I'm gonna plug this into alpha, and plug it into base collar. 
Now, you don't see a major difference, but if you see this light ring, it's the dark blue, and I can change that. Set to 5. I'm going to set it to 2. Look at it now. See it? See it? I set it to 0.5. It'll get even better. We're going to put it at 3. Okay? Sorry about that, guys. The line on the way. But still, it has like a, blight, like a dark blue ring around it. Check it what it does. I really like this uh, look. I mean, this is just, you know, now we're, now we're jumping into like personal preference. But as you can tell, if I get down to it, you'll see the dark blue kind of set in. Kind of looks neat, right? Kind of neat. And you could play with that. Like I said, you know, it just it just the way that you're looking at it, it's like a lighter blue. But if you get down and the, the edges of it will have like a darker look. So here we go. We got some, we got some uh, bluish Gatorade. And it's, it's, it looks tasty. Guys, thanks for watching the fourth material tutorial. Please hit that subscribe button. Deprived Productions. Let's learn some cool stuff. We got music coming. We got music here. We got more coming. We got prototypes. We got tutorials. Let's get it done. Uh, the next tutorial is going to be awesome. Again, sorry, guys. I didn't upload two today. Because... That second one, it's good. we're, we're going to wait a little bit. Uh, Thomas, Oscar, man, I hope this helped you out. I hope I helped you all out, and I hope you guys take this and take something, make something really, really cool, and hit me back with it, because I'm all about learning just like you are. Guys, again, subscribe, like the Facebook, get in with us. Uh, let me know if I can help you with anything. Have a good day. Peace.